in a world hooked on fuel, where oil prices rise faster than hope. One bus, born not in Detroit or Tokyo, but in the heart of Africa, just shattered everything we thought we knew about transportation. This isn't just another electric vehicle. This is a self-powered revolution on wheels. And it's rewriting the rule book, not in decades, but today. The unveiling. A clean, futuristic bus glides silently down a Nairobi highway. No exhaust. No noise. Just raw, self-sustaining power. This is the Maxwell E-Bus Alpha X, a public transportation marvel with zero need for fuel, zero emissions, and no charging stations. Wait, what? No fuel and no charging? Exactly. While the rest of the world is stuck debating between gas and grid-tied EVs, Africa just built something entirely different. The technology behind it. Animated cutaways showing layers of the bus, from solar-integrated skin to kinetic energy converters to atmospheric energy harvesters. The Alpha X doesn't rely on plug-in power. Instead, it uses a trifecta of innovation. Self-charging battery modules, harvesting kinetic energy from every stop, every bump, every motion. Electromagnetic drive tech, pioneered by Maxwell's engineers to eliminate mechanical drag. Onboard microenergy harvesters that draw ambient energy from the environment. Yes, even from thin air. It sounds like science fiction, but this machine is very real, and it's already on the roads. The streets speak. Public response has been electric. No gas stations. No waiting, just get in and go, one passenger says. Local drivers report a 98% drop in maintenance needs. No oil changes. No filter replacements. Just smooth, continuous operation, day in, day out. And for city planners, this isn't just a bus. It's the end of transport dependence on fossil fuels. Global ripple effect. Automakers across Europe... Asia, and the U.S. are scrambling. How did Africa, long ignored in global innovation circles, suddenly leapfrog the grid? Elon Musk tweeted last night, If this tech scales, the whole game changes. Fast. And make no mistake, it is scaling. Maxwell has confirmed over 2,000 units in active production, with interest from 17 countries. The economic tsunami. The ripple effect? Massive. Fuel imports? Dropping. Local economies? Rising. Job creation? Exploding in new clean tech sectors. Suddenly, energy sovereignty isn't a dream. It's parked at every bus stop. The backlash in the battle. Behind the closed doors of the world's most powerful auto giants, a storm is brewing. A bus from Africa just made their billion-dollar battery lines look obsolete. And that threatens everything. Global automakers and energy lobbyists aren't cheering this revolution. They're trying to stop it. Confidential memos now leak show urgent strategy meetings across Silicon Valley and Frankfurt. Contain Maxwell's influence. Delay global adoption. Secure exclusive patents. Because here's the truth. If Africa can power mass transit without fuel, without charging, it changes global power dynamics forever. Maxwell strikes back. This isn't about who wins. It's about what's right for humanity. We are not here to compete. We are here to liberate. Crowds erupt in cheers. Behind him, a tarp is pulled, revealing something even bolder. A 42-meter intercity train prototype, humming softly. No tracks. No grid. Completely self-sustained. The train that never stops. No overhead lines. No fuel. No diesel backup. Just pure motion, pulled from thin air and internal conversion. The Maxwell Magna Rail 1 floats silently forward. Africa's first fully independent long-range maglev. Initial tests show it can hit 520 kilometers per hour with no external power input. Global media is stunned. Bloomberg headlines. Africa's transport leap makes Hyperloop look ancient. Elon Musk reportedly calls for a private demonstration and Saudi Arabia's NUM officials now demanding licensing talks. The secret that makes it all work. But what really makes these machines work? Some say it's ambient RF energy harvesting. Others whisper about a classified electromagnetic lattice hidden in Maxwell's labs. 
We only know one thing for sure. These buses and trains don't just defy industry logic. They rewrite the rules of physics and economics. The sky ship begins. A sleek, silver-winged craft glides overhead. No jet roar. No propellers. Just a soft hum, as if the sky itself were carrying it. Narrator in awe. For decades, the dream of limitless flight lived in science fiction. But now that fiction is airborne and African. The aircraft is called the Zephyr-1, a passenger-ready shuttle that draws zero fuel, emits zero carbon, and get this, never land for power. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's secret division, known internally as Project Elevate, has been quietly developing this marvel for four years, deep within a restricted hangar in Bulawayo. The test flight that changed everything. Onboard cameras reveal a dashboard unlike any aircraft you've seen. No throttle. No fuel gauge. Instead, energy flow meters tracking atmospheric conversion rates and resonance charge fields. Test pilot Rahiman Cube speaks through her headset. She flies like she's dreaming. Silent. Responsive. Limitless. After six continuous hours in the sky, no drop in power. And then the impossible happens. The pilot activates loop mode. The aircraft enters a wide orbit above Lake Kariba and stays airborne for 72 hours straight, autonomously adjusting its altitude, angle, and energy resonance. Global panic. If Africa can master flight without fuel, it threatens a trillion-dollar ecosystem. Jet fuel suppliers. International refueling networks. Carbon offset programs. Even space tourism initiatives. All rendered irrelevant. And once again, global powers push back. Internal documents reveal a request to suspend all Maxwell-related overflight permissions. But it's too late. A united front. In an unprecedented move, Kenya, Rwanda, Namibia, and Ethiopia jointly announced the African Open Sky Pact, declaring, Maxwell's craft will not be grounded. It is the future. And Africa will fly first. Maxwell responds in a live stream. We were told we had to follow. Now we lead. And then, with no countdown, no fanfare, Maxwell unveils the Zephyr 2. Bigger. Faster. 60 seat capacity. Ready for commercial testing. The space rumor. Insiders now whisper Project Lumina, allegedly a vacuum-ready atmospheric vehicle designed to exit the stratosphere and re-enter. All without fuel or propulsion as we know it. A vehicle built not just for Earth but for planetary leap travel. NASA reportedly reached out. Musk allegedly offered an NDA-covered collaboration, but Maxwell's team declined because their mission isn't about colonizing Mars. It's about fixing Earth first. Project Lumina, the whispers above the clouds. A new name is whispered within elite circles. Lumina, one, not a plane, not a rocket, something else entirely. At first, it sounded like science fiction. Then, a blurry frame from a high-altitude drone changed everything. The world saw a gravity-defying vehicle hovering effortlessly, then vanishing vertically into the stratosphere without a sound, and not from Cape Canaveral. From Africa, the physics dilemma. Top physicists go on record. If this is real, it defies Newton. It bypasses chemical propulsion. This is anti-inertial resonance. Maxwell's lab refuses to confirm or deny, but insiders leak a single line of code found on a terminal inside the Lumina base. Function zero-point extract. Quantum field return pure thrust. Scientists are stunned. Zero-point energy? A concept once ridiculed is now powering silent sky escapes from Zimbabwean soil. Tesla's next move. Insider audio leaks Elon saying, If they crack zero-point, we're done. The whole Earth-based battery economy collapses. Tesla initiates Project Arc, an emergency R&D division, to chase resonance-based propulsion, but it's years behind. Maxwell, meanwhile, announces a proof-of-concept intercontinental jump test. One vehicle. No crew. No propellant. Just pure electromagnetic lift. From Namibia to Japan in under 45 minutes. Global shockwave. The reaction? NASA freezes a SpaceX payload. China offers Maxwell $12 billion for Lumina access. Rejected. The European Space Agency initiates an emergency summit titled 
the African shift, rethinking space sovereignty. But Maxwell's team remained silent, until one woman, Amara Nyasha, a lead engineer of Project Lumina, appears at a TED Africa summit, wearing the sleek blue flight suit of the Lumina pilot program. She smiles and says, We used to borrow time and tech. Now we shape both. The unveiling approaches. Maxwell's social media accounts black out for three days. Then one image appears. A countdown. Three hours. Atmospheric exit test. Live stream coordinates point to the Karoo Desert. Speculation explodes. Is it a test flight into low orbit? A prototype personal space cruiser? Or something no nation has ever achieved? A gravity neutral craft? Maxwell's world unveiled. It began as a whisper in the tech world, a quiet invention in the heart of Africa. Today, it moves 10 million people a week. Without a single drop of fuel, global ripple effect. New York City retires 1,200 diesel buses, announcing a partnership with Maxwell Technologies. Mumbai unveils its first Maxwell-powered commuter fleet. Germany scraps oil subsidies in favor of zero-point research. NASA and Maxwell Labs co-sign a new transport propulsion initiative. The world watches as something that wasn't supposed to happen unfolds before everyone's eyes. The man himself. Maxwell Chikambutso walks the podium. No fanfare. No theatrics. Just one final message broadcast globally. They told us we were chasing miracles. We weren't. We were engineering them. Behind him. The silhouette of his next creation gleams. A fully autonomous, self-powered aircraft carrier. A young girl boards a Maxwell bus. She smiles, waves at the driverless cockpit, and sits by the window. The bus glides forward. No engine noise, no exhaust, no fuel. Just silent motion. Just clean power. Fuel is no longer the future. It is the past. And Africa just rewrote the ending.